I don't care what community you live in, whether you're in an urban, rural, suburban area here in California, Sonoma County, throughout this nation, one of the biggest issues we deal with in all of our areas is housing and homelessness. It's impendent upon us to provide compassionate, good services, and enforcement on the streets. We gotta do this for communities, we gotta do it for individuals, we gotta do it for all of us. Homelessness in Sonoma County is definitely trending in the right direction. I think that especially over the past year, I've seen a lot of collaboration and a lot of people throughout the county, both service providers, mayors, <laughs> such as Mayor Lands, um, cities come together and really try to figure out what does the county need to solve this problem. So today is a very important day for the Sonoma County. Um, every area of Sonoma County at 5 a.m. this morning started a point in time count where volunteers, unsheltered individuals are acting as guides, service providers are acting um, as a helpful lens um, to make sure that we're accurately counting every single unsheltered individual throughout the county. After we get done today, uh, there's going to be a survey of some of the unsheltered individuals that we've counted to get more demographics about uh, ethnicity, disability status, um, you know, a little more information about, are, you know, did they become homeless while they were in Cloverdale or while they were in Healdsburg or whatever the city might be. Um, and that data gives us the information we need to get the services for people. We need to make sure that we understand each person individually and what they need so that we can help them with that, not just take the money and spend it on what we feel is right. So here in Sonoma County, numbers for our most recent 2022 point in time count, 2,900 individuals homeless, experiencing homelessness. 700 plus of those, chronic homeless. So what are we doing? We're providing wraparound services, mental health, substance abuse, social programs that help people create the ecosystem that supports them. This is the Access Initiative with, which links multiple departments and all these entities together to serve people instead of pull them away from it. This is also Project Home Key, which is housing programs, millions of dollars into permanent and transitional housing. This is also safe parking programs, so RVs have places to go that they can move on where they can't camp there indeterminately, but they can also have a safe place to sit while they're working on their transitions. We have so many more, but the key here is, is that you have to have a wide variety of programs and options allowable to people because people are different and they have different needs. So uh, one of the things that we focus on with the county and with our, our community-based partners is to try to improve collaboration to make sure uh, people are connecting between agencies and that the county as a whole, the county system, is working for everybody because uh, we need to make sure we have the funding to the right groups like, like Margaret's group and then that, that they're, they have all the tools they need to accomplish this important effort. We're here at Windsor Veterans Village. This is a place where those who have served our country to the deepest levels are getting the services that we should be providing them. This is an example of a solution in practice. This can give people hope. Good morning. Good morning. Bill, James yes, Gore. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Ken. Nice to meet you. We're here at this, uh, God, Windsor Veterans Village. You guys, uh, you guys live here. Where are your homes? Mine's just behind you, uh -huh. over there. Uh -huh. uh, and I think you're over this way. Yep. I'm over that way mm -hmm. in a single unit. Bill's in a W. Mm -hmm. I know that people look down upon homelessness as, as like a disease is moving mm -hmm. into the area. I feel that it's more once we get stabilized and once mm -hmm. we have a permanent home, mm -hmm. we're providing finances for the city, for mm -hmm. the county. Mm -hmm. um, nobody here wants to take a free ride. These people had no idea where they were going to live. They've mm -hmm. been on the streets for a long time. Mm -hmm. We have one resident who's on the streets of Petaluma here for 28 years. 28 years. Okay, he now has a home and he's going to be starting a job in the next week or two. 
You know, being here fills me with hope. Um, the situation surrounding homelessness, not just for the individuals on the street, but many people in the community, they look at it as an intractable problem and something that is hopeless. That's false. You come here, you see individuals who have been on the streets, who have served our country, who have gone through hell and back, and they're in a place where they're like, this is working. And it gives me the chills. It fills me up with purpose. It makes me believe that we not only can do this, we are doing it and we need to do more. Thank you for joining me, joining us, and not just this conversation about providing solutions to homelessness, but the campaign to deliver. The campaign to show individuals that we can provide services that are compassionate and needed, and also we can enforce our streets in a way that's justifiable and that people can see results on the ground. This is all about us leaning in together. Individuals, community, we got this.